Hey guys, and welcome to the official sneak peek of my new dance program, Body Language. I can't begin to explain how healing dance has been in my life and how it has played such a vital role when it comes to my journey. Now I know some of you want to run when you hear the word dance, I get it, but I promise that to all of my non-dancers out there, you don't need to be a dancer or even have any dance experience to be a part of this, I promise. And for those of you who think ballroom dancing requires a dance partner, well, it's your lucky day because when creating body language, I made sure that you were able to not only participate without a partner, but to do so in the comfort of your own home. We're not going to bust out into any crazy dance moves or routines. So therefore, let's just start with something we all do on a daily basis and do so in order to survive. Let's start by focusing in on our breath. Okay, so place your left hand, eyes closed, on your low abdomen, a few inches below your belly button, and place your right hand on the outer right edge of your rib cage. Focus your awareness on your breath as it moves in and out of your body through your nose only. Our breath is so important. It's what keeps us alive on a daily basis, and yet it's not talked about as much. And to be able to breathe through movement and to the rhythm of the beat is exactly what dance is in my eyes. What makes my dance program different than any other dance program that I've seen is the fact that mine just focuses more on the therapeutic benefits because I know firsthand um, that dance has played such a vital role when it comes to my therapy and just my mental health in general. So basically in this program, there are three goals that I would like to achieve when doing this. The first goal is to be mindful when moving your body. So in general, we should change the way we think about movement. For example, instead of dreading having to move, exercise, dance, which all fall under the same umbrella of different types of ways to move, we should frame the meaning of movement as something that we can choose to do that can powerfully influence our mental health and our resilience. So. As a little girl, I didn't have a lot of self-esteem or self-confidence growing up. You know, I was molested at a young age and I come from a divorced family. My mom was busy trying to put food on the table, working long hours and you know, for me dance was kind of my way of finding myself and knowing how to, like just the aesthetic side of it, knowing how to stand up straight and present myself in a room and make eye contact with somebody. These are the little things that people sometimes don't see, but this is what dance has taught me was just to how, how to basically hold myself up as if I had the confidence and self-esteem. Okay, so we're gonna start with putting your weight into your right leg and we're gonna just march in place, okay? So we're gonna inhale still for four, alternating from foot to foot. So five, six, seven, eight, march one, two, three, four, continue the march and exhale, six, seven, eight. I guess I could say that, you know, whenever I would compete, my dance coaches would be like, oh my God, you're a whole different person on the dance floor than you are, are just the normal Cheryl we see in the dance studio. I guess I used to like drag my feet and it was just like, oh, I couldn't be bothered. But then when I put on the costume and I was competing, it was like a, it was an alter ego, I guess you could say, the Cheryl that is outgoing and that is full of energy and happiness and passion and so for me dance was always my way of um, I guess representing that authentic emotion that I couldn't put into words. You want to exhale. You really want to exhale and just let out all that anxiety, let out all of that anger, that aggression. Stop and we're going to release here. Feet together. Exhale, out. This is how 
I've been always as a dancer, I have never faked it. Like, if I was doing a jive and I was in a bad mood, you would see me being in a bad mood doing a jive. Like, I don't believe in manufacturing emotion. You know, feelings come and go, and it's always best to face the feeling and feel the feeling rather than numb the feeling. The reason why I wanted to start a ballroom program is because each dance is so unique and it brings a different emotion. Goal number two, rewire our brain. So let's talk movement. So when you move your body, it tells your brain that you are alive and engaged in life. And when your physical body is in motion and when it moves on a regular basis, your brain basically says, I guess we have to be the best version of ourselves that we can be because we are in this thing called life. People like me who have struggled with anxiety and depression, you know, this idea that you can actually convince your brain to want to fully engage with life in a brave and hopeful way is absolutely phenomenal. So body language isn't for necessarily your physical fitness, right? This is not an exercise program. This isn't about learning how to cha-cha and learning the technique of what that's about. This is more for your mental health, for your emotional state, for wanting to be the best version of yourself that you could possibly be. I want you to feel grounded. I want you to feel more connected to your own self, your own body. I want you to feel hopeful. I want you to feel, I'm not gonna say positive, because for some reason when people are like, oh, I'm just gonna be positive. Like this is not gonna be a fake dance program with fake emotions. This is a real program that's gonna tap into those real and raw emotions. You're gonna feel every feeling possible. And then we're gonna shake it out on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Expressing gratitude. So people who practice gratitude, they take time to really notice and reflect upon things that they're thankful for. They experience more positive emotions, they feel more alive, they even sleep better, express more compassion and kindness, and even have stronger immune systems. I have found that whenever I feel insecure or not in control or judgmental, as soon as I turn inwards and write down three things I am grateful for, my fear quickly turns into love. I also keep a gratitude journal and after I finish my morning meditation, I quickly write down three things I am grateful for. There have been many times in my dancing career where I felt like I had an outer body experience, right? Where I didn't really remember what happened, but I just know it just went great. And I truly believe when doing body language, you will be able to hit that fourth state of consciousness, that bliss field, that flow state that we all just, we all just want to feel, right? The reason why I named my program Body Language is because no words are needed sometimes. Um, and for those of us like myself, it's hard to be vulnerable with my words, but for me, movement has been an easy way to show that softer side, you know, and to be able to let my walls down and to not feel shame. Um, it's been a way for me just to express my true, authentic, raw emotion. We're gonna step forward with your left, and then you're gonna just rock back with your right. So forward, sway forward, then back. Okay, now let's do it with the breath. Inhale, exhale for three. And now we're gonna add arms. You're gonna reach up to the sky, and as you step back, in front of your body. One, two, three, keeping that breath even and steady. One, two, three, one, two, Three. Again, one, two, three. While dancing is a form of physical activity, it also provides therapeutic benefits in relation to our mental health and wellness. I am a huge advocate of therapy and meditation. However, finding what works for you is what I support the most and is what I think is absolutely necessary in order to be able to have a positive journey. With anyone who deals with stress and anxiety or who feels like they're struggling but doesn't want to talk about whatever they're going through, this program, Body Language, is for you. 
Dance is a form of communication and for me has been one of the ways I was able to express and develop peace within myself and in turn, I hope to be able to guide and help anyone who wants the same. The great thing about this program is that the feelings and emotions come out. I hope to see you guys all in the near future as we continue on our wellness journey. Sending you all so much love and light. Bye. Quick, slow. I'm just kidding. <laughs>